boys and girls how are you doing i'm so so super excited you know to have a fellowship with you this evening hope you're doing very well how is your mom and dad how is your brothers and sisters i hope they're all doing very well you know what boys and girls we your teachers we're praying for you we're praying for your families we're praying you know that you will enjoy your holidays we're praying the protection of god upon you in jesus name now as you know we have lots of activities for today we have the worship time we're going to have our memory verse we're going to have the app quiz make sure you participate in all of this okay and then we're going to have a lesson you know this is where i come and we talk about the lesson right so i'm looking forward to that and after that remember we always have our assignment at the you know very end of the or of this program so make sure that you you know do your assignment okay because you never know you might win something all right so i'm gonna see you at the lesson but before then make sure you stay tuned don't you allow anything distract you all right i'll see you very soon at the lesson god bless you welcome to church today i'm so happy to see you all so we will be singing along to two songs today the first one says this god is too good and the second one is here i am to worship how many of you are excited to praise god come and put those hands together and now you can move from side to side as we praise the name of the lord who has been so good to us
Celebrate the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. And now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Guys, today I'll be saying Matthew 15, 28 to 21. Lord, if it's you, replied Peter, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Jesus, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why do you doubt? Amen. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. hey Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey! Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah! Ah! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me! Save me, Lord! He shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, You have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him and said, you really are the Son of God. Welcome back, boys and girls. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I've enjoyed every, you know, step of this program. I've enjoyed the worship. I've enjoyed the memory verse. I enjoyed the quiz. And now I enjoy the lesson. I'm super excited, you know, to talk about this, um, you know, lesson with you. I'm sure you've seen it. You've seen our, you know, faith, our faith, what our faith can do. Wow. I'm sure, you know, you've seen how Peter, before he looked down, how he was able to walk on the water. Wow. What a miracle. What a miracle, boys and girls. This is just a picture, you know, showing us what our faith in the Lord can do. The moment we keep trusting in the Lord and we just gaze our eyes upon him and him only, we can walk on the water. We can, we can do anything. But the moment we take our eyes away from him, we are seeing what can happen. We can sink to the bottom of the sea. So boys and girls, you have to learn from this, that no matter what you face, because it doesn't matter how, you know, stormy the storm can be. It doesn't matter how loud, you know, the trouble can be. 
It doesn't matter how disturbing, how worrying we can become. The moment we choose to, you know, just keep looking at our God and keep trusting in him by, you know, just gazing our eyes upon him, making sure that he's the one we are looking at. We will not think we will be all right. But the moment we allow, you know, uh, 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 what do you call it, doubt and unbelief to set in, this is when the devil, you know, used the opportunity to get us down. So boys and girls, this is as little as you are, I know you are a child, I know you are children, and you know, you might say, oh, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. Just trust in the Lord, okay? Just keep holding on to the Lord, trust in his word, trust in everything that you have seen in the Bible that he has done, because he can do the same and much more for us, even in today. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you've learned, you know, that faith means looking at the Lord gazing our eyes upon him not allowing us you know our our mind to you know to have any doubt okay boys and girls i thank thank you so much for staying tuned thank you for you know being part of this fellowship i've enjoyed it i'm sure you have enjoyed it and i'll see you very very soon god bless you boys and girls hello friends how are you doing today so you know what time it is yeah it's quiz time and so we get straight right into it so the first question did jesus go with anyone to pray on the mountain side did jesus go with anyone to pray on the mountain side a yes b no and if you answered b then you are correct the answer is b no next question what did the disciples think jesus was when he was walking towards them a a monster b a spirit c a ghost d brandon and if you answered c then you are correct the disciples thought jesus was a ghost when he was walking towards them number three when jesus tried to walk on water after when which disciple tried to walk on water after jesus did which disciple tried to wa walk on water after jesus did a peter b john c james d andrew and if you answered a then you are correct the answer is a peter next question what time did what time of day did jesus walk out to his disciples what time of day did Jesus walk out to his disciples? A. Dusk. B. Dawn. C. Evening. D. Midnight. And if you answered D, then you are correct. No, sorry. If you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B done next question what body of water did jesus walk on what body of water did jesus walk on a the dead sea b the sea of galilee c the pacific ocean d the atlantic ocean and if you answered b then you are correct the answer is b the sea of galilee next question what made peter afraid when he walked out on the water what made peter afraid when he walked out on the water a how deep the water was b looking at damola's face c the wind d the heavy rain and if you answered c the wind then you are correct next question where did jesus and his disciples land where did jesus and his disciples land a galilee, galilee b california c ganesaret d egypt And 
And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, Ganesaret. Next question. Number eight. The disciples said, truly you are the son of God. A. True. B. False. C. I don't know. D. I don't care. And if you answered A, then you are correct. The answer is true. And the last question, number nine. What happened when Jesus? What happened when Peter was sinking? What happened when Peter was sinking? A. God let him drown. B. God reached out his hand to Peter. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B. God, Jesus reached out his hand to Peter. And those are all the questions we have for you today. Have a nice day. Bye.